<gasps> Hello everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, hi. Don't you think that our life has become somewhat gray? Hmm, so let's add some colors. I have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build a rainbow house today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. We have a challenge in Minecraft. We will build rainbow house today. We will have three rounds in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Round one. For the first round, I will need blocks of concrete and glass. I'm starting construction. To begin with, I put purple blocks of concrete, build the beginning of my rainbow house from them, and now I alternate different colors of the rainbow with colored glass. I'm so glad that Mikey suggested building such a colorful house, because lately it seemed to me that it was necessary, because it's already autumn outside, it rains often, it gets cold. We all need a little warmth and light. By the way, are there any of you guys who don't know how a rainbow is formed? If anything, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll tell you everything now. Sunlight consists of seven colors. Purple, blue, light blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Does this remind you of anything? Ha ha, that's right. It looks very much like a rainbow. So, when the sun is shining outside, and at the same time it is pouring a little rain, then when the sun's rays and raindrops come into contact, a rainbow is obtained. The heavier the rain, the more clearly the rainbow is visible. Nature is amazing, isn't it? And also, the coolest thing is, you can make a rainbow yourself at home. To do this, you need to take a hose with water, or another source of a constant stream of drops. Then, you need to go outside on a sunny day, stand with your back to the sun, and start spraying water up in front of you. Then the sun's rays will pass through your artificial rain and become a rainbow. Be sure to try it. There are several more ways to summon a rainbow at home, but I'll tell you about them in the next round. But in the meantime, I'll start arranging furniture in my rainbow house. I put a bed, a workbench, and a flower in a pot. On this side, I put stoves, chests, and an enchanted table. I put books on top. On this side, I put a brewing stand and a cauldron with water. Hang a picture on the wall. Put an armor rack with armor here. Great, my rainbow house is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... That's the first round. I need to do my best. I'm starting construction. Great! The first round has come to an end. Wow! Mikey, you've got a great rainbow house. Well done! Thanks, JJ! But I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ! What an amazing rainbow house you turned out! I like it! Thanks, Mikey. Round two. For the second round, I will need different blocks of concrete. I'm starting construction. To begin with, I put purple blocks of concrete and also build the beginning of my rainbow. And before I tell you guys about other ways to summon a rainbow at home, please like this video. You definitely won't regret it. So, I'm starting. If you do not have a hose with water, then this method will definitely suit you. First, take a container of water, place it in front of a window with sunlight, and put a mirror inside the container with water at an angle, so that one part of it is in the water and the other is not. To make a rainbow, you need the reflection from the mirror to fall on a white wall. With this method, you don't even have to wait for the rainbow to appear. It will appear immediately. The bigger the water tank, the bigger the rainbow will be. If suddenly you don't have the sun outside, then you can make a flashlight a light source. Just don't forget to close the window with curtains before that. In addition, with this method, it is tedious to point the flashlight at the part of the mirror that is in the water. 
And also, in the experience with the sun's rays, you will get a brighter and more distinct rainbow than in the experience with a flashlight. Do not forget about it. The second way to cause a rainbow at home is to use soap bubbles. Yes, yes, interesting patterns appear on them under the sunlight, as well as all the colors of the rainbow. Third way to cause a rainbow is to put a glass glass in front of the sun on a white surface. You will immediately get a rainbow. Not so big, but still beautiful. The fourth way. You will need a DVD and sunlight. I think almost every one of you has tried it, but still, I told you about it if someone didn't know. That's all the ways to get a rainbow at home that I know. Feel free to check my methods and practice and write in the comments if you manage to see a rainbow. I'm very interested. Oh, now the educational part is over. Don't worry, ha ha. You know, I'm getting old after all. It's time to teach a new generation. Ha ha. Oh, have I built that much already? Wow, I didn't notice it myself. I'm already finishing my rainbow house inside. I put up a white fence so that no one falls from a height. I do the same on the other side. Hmm, it's time for furniture. I put anvils with foliage for decoration. I put a carpet on the floor. On the other side, I do the same. But I put a bed, a bedside table, and a lamp. In the middle, I am. Hmm, what should I add here? That's right, I put closets for clothes and shoes. A TV and a sofa. Great, my rainbow house is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... In the second round, I need to build even better than JJ. I'm starting construction. Great, the second round has come to an end. Wow, Mikey, what an amazing rainbow house you have turned out. Great! Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me! Wow, JJ, you've got a great rainbow house. It's just amazing. Thanks, Mikey. Round three. In the third round, I will use a special command to quickly build my rainbow house. Wow, how big it turned out to be. Unbelievable. It's like the very end of the rainbow that no one can ever find. Ha ha. It is said that leprechauns hide their treasures at the end of the rainbow, but they're not here. Oh, it's a shame. And I really wanted to become rich. Or maybe Mikey had already picked them up. He's fast enough when it comes to gold or diamonds. Ha ha. Great. My rainbow house is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile. In the third round, I need to give my best. I'm starting construction. round has come to an end. Wow, Mikey, you've got a great rainbow house. Well done. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me. Wow, JJ, what an amazing rainbow house you turned out. I like it. Thanks, Mikey. I am very glad that you liked my building. I hope that the guys will write in the comments which of us won today, you or me. And also let them try to make a rainbow at home. I'm sure they will succeed. That's right, Mikey. Well, it's time for us to finish. Yes, JJ. I think it's time to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night to you. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye. <gasps> everyone, dear friends. The weather is just wonderful outside today. I wonder what adventures await me today? What? I think Mikey's coming to me. Mikey, it's open. JJ, how about you be a colossal titan and I'll be armored? Ha, come on, why not? I have
have just a great idea, JJ. Let's build an Attack Titan today. Wow, Mikey, the idea is really great. Okay, I agree. But first, let's welcome our dear viewers. Of course, JJ, go ahead. Hello, everyone, dear friends. We have a challenge in Minecraft. We will build Attack Titan today. We will have three rounds in total, and you decide who won in the comments. Are you ready, Mikey? Of course, JJ. Then we're starting. Round one. For the first round, I will need sandstone and coal. I'm starting construction. First, I put a step out of sandstone and next to it, a hatch. I build a titan leg out of sandstone. I put a fence here. Now I start building a second titan leg. I alternate different blocks of sandstone. I put a hatch. Now I'm building a titan body. Putting a fence. Steps on top. Rearranging different blocks a little. I'm doing great. Putting a coal fence here. Building my titan's hair out of it. Building blocks on his head. I'm starting to build a titan arm out of sandstone. I'm making it a little longer. Adding the missing blocks. Now I'm building his other arm. be in a slightly different position. Great! My Titan is ready! I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... That's the first round. I need to do my best. I'm starting construction. In this round, I will build a Mikasa. out of black and brown concrete blocks. I'm building her favorite scarf. Oh, so many memories. I'm starting to build the outline of Mikasa's head out of black concrete. First round. 
round has come to an end. Wow! Mikey, you've got a great Mikasa. Well done! Thanks, JJ! But I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ! What an amazing Titan you have turned out! I like it! Thanks, Mikey! Round two. For the second round, I will need wood and different fence blocks. To begin with, I put up wooden steps and a wooden half block. Build a leg of my Titan and periodically put up a stone fence. I start building the second leg of my Titan. Add the missing blocks. Connect it to the first leg. Rebuild it a little. Add blocks from below. I start building the body of the Titan from a stone fence. Put wooden blocks inside and continue to place the fence around the edges. is how I build cool cubes on my Titan's abs. From above, I make a platform out of wooden half blocks. I'm building the upper torso of my Titan. I start building his head. I build his hair out of a concrete powder fence. I build up the voids with blocks. I put black concrete powder on top. Now I'm building my Titan's arm out of wood. Putting up a hatch, continuing to enlarge his arm. On the other hand, I'm building a second Titan arm on the same principle, using wood and hatches. I'm almost done! I'm adding the missing hatches on the Titan's body. Great! My Titan is ready! I wonder how Mikey's doing. Meanwhile... In the second round, I need to build even better than JJ. I'm starting construction! Great! The second round has come to an end. Wow, Mikey, what an amazing Titan you've got. Great. Thanks, JJ, but I can't wait to see what you've built. Follow me. Wow, JJ, you've got a great Titan. It's amazing. Thanks, Mikey. Round three. In the third round, I will use a special command to quickly build my Titan. Wow, what a big and cool founding Titan I got. This building fascinates and scares me. Great. My founding Titan is ready. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Wow! Mikey, you've got a great Aaron Yaga! Well done! Thanks, JJ! But I can't wait to see what you've built! Follow me! Wow, JJ! What an amazing founding Titan you have turned out! I like it! Thank you, Mikey! I am very glad that you like my house! I think we can end here! Yes, JJ! I think it's time to go to bed! Bye-bye! Good night to you! Thanks for 
watching, friends. Subscribe and like. And also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss new videos. Bye-bye.